So the last week or so has been a bit of a nightmare for me. And that's why the planned video of the uh, disc IO shootout on the spark station five has not happened yet. It is still coming. Um, but when this little package came in the mail, I decided, you know what, I'm going to take a break from that and from everything else. And I'm going to have some fun and I'm going to do an unboxing video because I haven't ever actually done one of those. So let's, uh, let's, let's see what's in this little brown box. So this is a Kickstarter project that I backed. Oh, geez. It feels like a million years ago, but it wasn't that long ago. I mean, it was, I don't know. I'll have to go look it up and I'll, I'll put the, the date on there. Uh, but the, the outside kind of, kind of gives it away. Yes, this is Demons of Astaborg. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this without losing a finger. Wow, they use some ridiculously sturdy packing tape on this. It's the the super heavy duty stuff that's reinforced with the 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 strings. They really did not want this box to come open until until it was time for it to come open, and maybe even not then. And it would help. This I need a new razor in this. Having a, a sharper blade would definitely help. Oh, there's still one strike left. There. So, very, very nicely packed. Uh, Looks, so I got the the box. It's very cool. And I believe that the art in here is reversible. Uh, and then you have the manual and a little bit of extra goodies. Let's see what all is in here. Looks like a card. Oh, that's cool. I believe that's some of the, the art from the game. And then a couple trading cards, Maria and Sagramore. Very cool. And then appears to be a couple stickers, one for the game and one for the, the studio. And then also have the uh, the game in here. Which has a little, little magic sticker on it. I don't know if 438 is the serial number or, or what. Avoid exposing to extreme temperatures. Gotcha. Oh, tested by SR. Oh, some more stickers hiding behind the manual. It's art from the, the game, it looks like. Very, very cool. So I'm kind of going through this quick because I know a bunch of other YouTubers have got, got theirs long before I did and have already gone through a bunch of this. So very... Very nicely done. How to play. The different the characters. The spells. Oh, that's cool. So it's got a mix of the actual art from the game and then other drawings, you know, <laughs> that, are what, that are what you wish the game could look like. <laughs> I mean, the Genesis is pretty cool, but it it can't do that. Not not even the not even with the uh, the Sega CD and the the full motion video. It can't look that good. <laughs> those swamp, ooh, those trees look cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna have a quick look at the other side of the box art. I think that's the side. Okay, so this would be, this looks like the, uh, I want to say the European style. So you got the Japanese Mega Drive style on the one side, and then the, the maybe the European style. I don't know, it's hard to say. I don't have any, I don't have any actual European games, but uh, I do for my Sega Master System, but not, not for the Genesis. I don't think... Maybe. I don't know. 
Uh, anyway, very cool art. I don't know. I think I like this side better. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on this side. So I'll put that back in and see if I can do it without without wrecking the box, which back in the day I definitely did more than a couple times because it's really easy to rip the the plastic off where it where it attaches here. Put that in. All right, well, I've got a system set up here and a monitor and my nice Bose speakers. Um, so I'm going to reset stuff up and I'm, I'm going to play. <laughs> I'm going to have fun, damn it. <laughs> All right, so my plan is I'm going to turn this on for the first time. So hopefully it works. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to play it for a little bit and then I'll probably shut the camera off and play it for quite a bit more. And then finally I'll film my, my final thoughts about it and have something to say about the game, whether or not I like it or, or whatever. Uh, since I'm recording off the screen, I don't have a capture device yet. I, I have some stuff. I just haven't set any of that up. Um, uh, the video quality is not likely to be great, so I don't feel like there's very much point in recording a lot of the game. Um, and there's certainly other videos where people have have done that. There's heck, there's probably complete playthroughs already, but by now. Uh, anyway, so I'm just gonna jump right in. Wow, the music is really good. I definitely approve of that. And I really, really like the uh, the use of the Genesis color palette. I mean, it's got a fairly limited color palette. That was one of the things back in the day that people used to complain about a bit compared to the, the Super Nintendo is that it didn't have, it didn't have as, as good a colors, um, but this is using it really well, even though I'm looking at my my side monitor here it doesn't it looks much better on the pvm than it is going to look in the recording <laughs> so all of this text that is scrolling by is i believe a repeat of the the backstory that's in the manual and these these images look pretty familiar so i'm going to skip through some of that because i read the manual <laughs> I think I've learned my lesson over the last couple months about uh, about RTFMing. <laughs> right, let's just have a look at the settings. Puts attack, jump, special. Oh, you can cycle through. Yeah, attack, jump, special seems good enough. Yeah, that's all right. All right, in the village. Back in the village, which I think was an Iron Maiden song. Off, I want to say uh, Power Slave. Oh, it's waiting for me. <laughs> We did not have this back in the day where the games actually would uh, would teach you how to play. It's kind of the advantage of now basically ROM sizes are, are infinite. <laughs> um, you know, back in the day they didn't do any of that because every byte cost money, basically. And they would rather, you know, spend that money on making graphics than putting in instructions like that's that's why you have a manual unless you rented the game and then there was there was no manual or you know you didn't take care of your stuff and then there was no manual but that that's on you
Okay, so far, this is pretty freaking cool. And I definitely approve. I did not realize that was going to be a platform. The little death animations are really cool. every which way. I'm expecting I'll be able to go down there. Okay. Must be a way to lower it. Of course there is. I made it through the first level. It's been quite a while since I've played games like this, and I d did poorly. Uh, <laughs> but it's really fun. The music is terrific. The graphics are amazing. Like, had I, and I think a bunch of other. Like, I'm pretty sure John Riggs said something like this too. That you know, had this game come out back in the day. It would be one of those games that, you know, everyone had and everyone wanted and we'd all be, you know, super nostalgic about. And, you know, it's one of those ones that we we would just talk about all the time. So instead of talking about it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to playing it. <laughs> Hopefully this weekend I will actually be able to get out the... Um, the I the IO performance battle royale for the uh, Spark Station Five. It's still there. That's still happening. Uh, we'll we'll see. I've got a bunch of other stuff going on, so I I don't know. We'll we'll see. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. I finally remembered to say that. <laughs> and until next time, remember the good stuff. <laughs>